are so happy that you're watching today with Marilyn and Sarah. A really encouraging testimony for you from Marcy. Marcy was going through a really difficult time in her marriage, um, and she watched our program and heard some teaching on forgiveness. She watched for like a whole week, and after watching the entire week, it completely changed her life. She called in for prayer, and God helped her to really overcome. So I encourage you today, if you're struggling in your marriage, maybe you're watching and you're having a difficult time in your finances, maybe you received a diagnosis from the doctor, it's very discouraging. Maybe you're struggling kind of emotionally in your soul. Whatever it is, we, we want to invite you to hop on the phone, get on the website, because when we get to pray with you, number one, it's an honor for us, but number two, we also know that God answers prayer. And partners, thank you so much. Thank you for helping us to cover the earth with the word. We couldn't do what we do without you, so thank you for being our partner in knitting together with us. And mom... You get to introduce an amazing author today. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> I get to introduce my daughter, Sarah Bowling. And here is a wonderful book, Your Friendship with the Holy Spirit. Ever since Sarah was a little girl, she has been very focused on let it be real. I want to be real. I want to have a reality thing with the Holy Spirit. I don't want to just talk about it or pretend because I'm a pastor's daughter. She has always been strong. I know him personally. So I want you to be sure you get four or five copies of these. I want you to be sure that you pass them around. And you know, folks, read the book and underline it because there are things I believe God will read in you. You know, I like it when God reads me too, don't you? So this is a special book, Your Friendship your friendship with the Holy Spirit. Together, we are impacting thousands of lives with the truth, compassion, and power of God's Word. But there is still much more to be done. By becoming a partner with Marilyn Hickey Ministries, you'll share in bringing God's miracles and healing to the sick, experiencing a deep love for the Bible, and taking the gospel to the nations. When you become a $30 a month partner with Marilyn and Sarah, we'll send you our welcome gift package, which includes the Jehovah Rapha oil vial with oil prayed over by Marilyn and Sarah, our exclusive partner CD set, which includes six CDs featuring 12 never before released teachings, the Majesty coffee table book featuring beautiful representations of the names of God and more. If you have a passion to reach the lost and are ready to release the anointing of God into your life, then join us today by becoming a partner. Call or click today and help Marilyn and Sarah cover the earth with the word. Hey there, thank you so much for watching today with Marilyn and Sarah. Have you ever wondered about help? <laughs> Do you need help? I need help. I, I have come to the conclusion that I would be the poster child for help. I used to not want help. I used to be very much independent, do it myself. That was kind of my mantra for a long, long time. Do it myself, don't need help, no thanks. I can do it on my own, I can manage. But it's interesting because I think I've come to the conclusion, particularly as I age, that help is not a bad thing. Actually, help is really, really good. You might be watching right now, maybe you need help. Well, you're like, what do, what do you mean? Well, maybe you need help in your finances. You're like, I don't know how to do my finances. I'm struggling with that. Maybe you need help with some self-control, discipline in your soul. Maybe you need help with your, your physical body. You've got some stuff happening in there that's, you're like sick or you know somebody you got a diagnosis from the doctor that's bad news. Maybe you need help in your relationships. That can be in your marriage, in your work. It will be with your family, your kids, your parents. I think we could all use a little help. And I want to encourage you to hop on the phone, get on the website. We would love to pray for you to have some help, supernatural help. And I like this because I think this is really who Holy Spirit is, our helper, help. And I love, I love that Jesus introduces Holy Spirit to us with this term, help, the helper. Now, when you look in John chapter 14, verse 16, I love what Jesus does because in these chapters, 14 through 17, this is Jesus' last supper sermon. It's his last words before he goes out to Gethsemane. 
and it's with his closest followers. So it's at nighttime in a confined environment. He's about ready to go into some horrible, horrible, <laughs> awful death on the cross, all that stuff, horrible stuff. And Jesus leaves this kind of as his last sermon, if you will, to his closest followers. And he talks with us, gives us an introduction to Holy Spirit, who, whom Jesus calls help, the helper. Now in John 14, verse 16, if you look in various translations, they, Jesus calls the helper, Holy Spirit, comforter, counselor, advocate, and, and helper. But I like this term help because I think it speaks to the needs that we have in our daily life. Help. I need help. I need help making this, <laughs> making this appointment. I need help in this conversation. I need help with my money. I need help with my health. I need help in my relationship. Help, 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 help. And I would say to you that help, mm, maybe that's a nice way for a nickname for Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is our help. And I want to encourage you to hop on the phone, get on the website, grab your copy of my relationship guide, your friendship with Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit doesn't have to be some misty, ethereal, floaty, disconnected, but Holy Spirit can be our real-time help. And this relationship guide will help you relate to Holy Spirit, knowing who Holy Spirit is and recognizing. And that's the thing. I think it's really important for us to recognize who is Holy Spirit. Because Jesus said in John 14, verse 16, Jesus said, Holy Spirit will be with you all the time. It was 24 seven. So Holy Spirit's with you when you're working out. Holy Spirit's with you when you're cooking. Holy Spirit's with you when you're binge watching Netflix. <laughs> Holy Spirit's with you even you're like mm, go into the bathroom. Holy Spirit is present. You're like, well, I don't think that's important. But my point in telling you that is we don't have to ask God to come because Holy Spirit's already here. So I would encourage you that it's a raising your awareness turning your attention. It's a shift. Instead of thinking Holy Spirit's way out there somewhere, maybe kind of, or you have to have the right music to have the Holy Spirit. No, Holy Spirit is present now. And in this moment, as you're watching at this time with us together, Holy Spirit is present. And I would encourage you, some of you watching right now, you sense Holy Spirit now in the room with you. You sense there's something that's different. There's like a shift a shift in the atmosphere is like something's different. Uh, and this is Holy Spirit telling you, I'm present and I'm here. And Holy Spirit wants to coach you how to recognize his presence with you. So we would love to help you with that. Grab your, grab your phone, get your copy of your friendship with Holy Spirit. Because this isn't just kind of something like floaty and comes and goes. And the other thing I think that we struggle with Holy Spirit is we tend to treat Holy Spirit like an it. Right? Like maybe a power cord, you know, extension, plug into the power. Holy Spirit's God's power. But I would propose to you that Holy Spirit is a person. We see in the Trinity, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, just because there's the term Holy Spirit doesn't mean the Holy Spirit's not a person. Holy Spirit is very much a person, just like Father, Son. They're personhoods. And that's, I believe this with all my heart. God demonstrates that relationship in the Trinity for us to have relationship with God and with Holy Spirit. So you might be watching right now, and again, you have needs in your life. You need help. And you might think, my needs are far beyond any kind of help that I could get. And I think that's a very great opportunity. I mean, when we need so much help, some of you watching right now, you're in bankruptcy, you've had a bad diagnosis, like terminal diagnosis from the doctor, your family's kind of left you and kind of pulled out all the, all the, you know, safety nets and you're just struggling. You're like, I'm, I'm, I'm out of my element. I, I don't even, I don't even know where to start. We want to pray for you. We want to pray that Holy Spirit would step in and help you hop on the phone, get on the website, because I know Holy Spirit is present with you. And we want you to be aware of that shift and aware of Holy Spirit present with you and then walking with you walking with you along the pathway into that redemption. And I appreciate that when Jesus talks about Holy Spirit in John 14, verse 16, he calls Holy Spirit parakaleo, paraclete. That's the Greek word. And that's an, an interesting word because it means to comfort, to call alongside. 
And so there's this idea that Holy Spirit is alongside of us, walking and present with us. But also it's interesting in the Aramaic that this word parakaleo in Greek, it means as well to end the curse. That Holy Spirit walking with us ends the curse, the curse of the law, the curse of the enemy, the curse that says inadequacy, the curse that says sickness, the curse that says uh, disconnect, this curse that says fear and condemnation, the curse. Holy Spirit is alongside of us to end the curse. And I appreciate that when Jesus says, I will send the comforter, the helper to you, another helper. I appreciate this word another in the Greek is a very interesting word because it's the same word that we would use. Uh, it's like homogenous, another of the same kind, another helper. And the idea is that Jesus is saying, I have been with you well, these last three years talking to his disciples as your helper. And I'm sending you another one just like me, just like Jesus, that the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead also lives and works with you and quickens your mortal body, can give life. And for some of you watching right now, there's this sense of death in your life. And there's death in the terms of, of, of finances, death in the terms of some physical things. Those individuals watching right now that have had a terminal diagnosis, that it's death and death is going to absolutely control. I want to encourage you to hop on the phone. We want to pray for you because Romans 8 verse 11 says, the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead lives in you and quickens your mortal body. That Holy Spirit can breathe life back into you. And where there, wherever there's death in your body, where there's death in your life, wherever you find the absence of life, Holy Spirit steps in and is the presence of life. And breathes into you the breath of the Almighty. Oh my goodness, that God has life and abundant life for you. If you're not experiencing God's abundant life, we want to pray for you. Pray that Holy Spirit would breathe into you and you would step into that abundance. So hop on the phone, get on the website. I know Holy Spirit is present, eager, waiting uh, to connect with you. And so when you do, grab your copy of Your Friendship with Holy Spirit. This is a really, really good resource on who is Holy Spirit and how do you have a relationship with Holy Spirit? And not just kind of a relationship like a water bottle, inanimate object, but a relationship with another person. How? How do we do that? And this relationship guide will help you. It's very, very interactive. There's questions and answers. It takes into account your individuality because you can't do the same kind of relationships everybody else does because you're unique and fearfully, wonderfully unique, wonderfully made. So hop on the phone, get on the website. This relationship guide will help you walk into a deeper connection relationship with Holy Spirit in your daily living. Now available, Your Friendship with Holy Spirit by Sarah Bowling. Father, Son, and who? The third member of the Trinity, Holy Spirit, is often only associated with unusual manifestations and weird stuff. In some cases, scripture and the supernatural have been sadly mishandled and caused many to close the door to the Spirit altogether. But Holy Spirit is still a very relational part of the Godhead and desires to be in relationship with us. In this interactive guide, author and teacher Sarah Bowling introduces us to Holy Spirit and walks us through specially designed exercises to help us deepen that connection. Sharing personal stories while examining Jesus' introduction to Holy Spirit in John 14, 16. Sarah reveals the wonder of the one Jesus calls our helper, comforter, counselor, friend, and so much more. Isn't it time you got to know our wonderful Holy Spirit in a new, deeper way? Get your copy today. Holy Spirit is a very real part of the Godhead and desires to be in relationship with us. In this interactive guide, Sarah sets you up for deep personal interaction and encounter with Holy Spirit Himself. This guide will help you develop an understanding of Holy Spirit's character and duties, a desire to know Holy Spirit more, and ways to cultivate relationship with Holy Spirit on a daily basis. For your gift of $30 or more, we will send you Sarah's new book, Your Friendship with Holy Spirit. We will also send you Sarah's Holy Spirit Upgrade CD teaching and her In Step with the Spirit book. And for your gift of $60 or more, we will include the NLT Daily Bible. 
Call or click today for this enriching offer. I'm so glad you're watching. Oh my goodness, am I totally thrilled. And I want to speak to you in terms of your relationships. Because I think relationships are a big deal. Like a really big deal. And I'm not talking about, you know, go to the grocery store and the relationship with the cashier, you give them a credit card and swipe and get your groceries or whatever. I'm talking about relationships as, as it pertains to your family. Maybe your parents. Maybe you have some siblings, brothers and sisters. Maybe you have some work relationships or your marriage that's kind of a, or you want to be married and you're struggling. And relationships are a big deal. They are a very big deal. We are made to be relational <laughs> because God is relational, right? God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. That's kind of a relationship right there. And we're made in the image of God. So we're made to be relational. But if you're like me, relationships, when, they, when things are not good in my relationships, it's a struggle for me. It's very, very difficult. And some of you watching right now, you're having a hard time in your marriage. You're having a hard time with your kids or your parents. And there's some rub in that. And it's just super challenging. And you don't know what to do. You're struggling. And I want to encourage you to hop on the phone, get on the website. We want to pray for you in your relationships. And some of you are like, yeah, it's not that big a deal. It's just a work relationship. Or I have a school project I have to do with, some, with this group and you know, I don't really like them. But, and you're like, it's not that big a deal. But I believe this. I believe when we open the door for Holy Spirit to help us, invite help, then Holy Spirit helps us in those relationships. So hop on the phone, get on the website. And when you do, of course, we want to pray for you, but grab your copy of your friendship with Holy Spirit. And I would say this, and I've seen it true, absolutely true in my life. As I have grown in my relationship with Holy Spirit, I am better in my human relationships. And I've seen that play out for me in the last five to 10 years. And it's been an interesting journey because I have seen Holy Spirit speak into my soul. And what I often do, I'm sure you never do this, <laughs> but what I will often do is say, hey, God, fix that person. Change them. Change her. Change him. And uh, it's interesting because I feel like Holy Spirit often says, hey, let's start with you. I'm like, no, 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 we don't need to start with me. Just change them. That's where the real need, that's where everything has to change. And I appreciate the Holy Spirit says, yeah, but Sarah, let me help you on the inside. And when I let Holy Spirit help me in my relationship with Holy Spirit, then I see the ripple of that in my subsequent relationships. So if you're struggling in your relationships, hop on the phone, get on the website. We want to pray for you and see God help you in that. But let me give you an example. And this happened recently. I had some conflict with one of my kids. Um, we don't need to mention names or genders. That's plenty. Let's keep it, you know, kind of anonymous, but one of my kids and I, we were having some conflict and there were some things that were said and done that really hurt me, really, really hurt me. And I'm struggling. And when I'm hurt, <laughs> I get cranky and I can be very prickly and I can be sarcastic and snarky and make all kinds of snide little comments and barbs. I'm sure you can't relate to that at all. I'm saying very <laughs> sarcastically, but I'm struggling. And I'm struggling in my interactions with this kid. And I'm having a hard time. And I'm praying, God, change da, 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 this, you know, my child. <laughs> but I feel like Holy Spirit, and one morning I was doing my quiet time with God. I felt like Holy Spirit said to me, hey, Sarah, this is an issue for you. You're not, you're snarky, your <laughs> sarcasm, your barbs, your little... Na nags, you know, just little zings. It's not constructive. It's not helpful. And I felt Holy Spirit working into my soul and convicting me, saying, come on, Sarah, let's not, let's, and, you know, I want to argue back. Well, you know, change them and then I'll change. And I felt like Holy Spirit said, no, no, no. That's not how this game goes. I want to help you change on the inside. Regardless of if they change external, it's an internal thing in you. And so I kind of let that sit for a little while because, you know, um, that's hard to kind of absorb and digest and think about that. But as I did over the course of the day, I felt myself softening on the inside and softening in my attitude, softening in my 
posture, my mindset, my outlook. And some of you, you need some softening. Some of you watching, there's been so much hurt and wounds that it's hard to find yourself tender and compassionate and, and soft on the inside, struggling even with forgiveness. I'd encourage you to hop on the phone, get on the website. We want to pray for you that God would help you on the inside and that Holy Spirit on the inside would help tenderize and empower you, empower you to forgive. Sometimes that's the biggest thing. And that's what I felt with my kid. I was like, you know, they did a, did a, did a disrespectful, you know, I'm going down my litany of things they did wrong. But I took, after I sat with Holy Spirit and kind of walked and let Holy Spirit kind of deal with me in my soul, in my heart, um, this kid came home from school and, and uh, the normal, cold, distant, you know, and I want to be cold and just, but I, I sense Holy Spirit and has worked with me and talked with me in the hours of the day. So I came to this kid, my kid, and I said, hey, um, there's been some tension and I recognize that I have not been very kind. I have not been uh, gracious and I'm really sorry. I said, I, I've done that out of hurt in my own soul and I take responsibility for my my behavior. I'm sorry. I ask you to please forgive me. And with God's help, I'll do better. It's not that I'm asking for forgiveness so I can keep doing the same thing. I'm asking for forgiveness with God's help so that I can change and grow and be do better. And this kid responded kind of, eh, you know, eh, maybe. But it was a, a shift in my own soul, in my own thoughts, in my own outlook. And that has helped me in my interactions subsequent. Now, I can't tell you that everything's smoothie groovy, you know, and the clouds have parted and the sun is out, no rain. I can't say that it's 100% better, but I absolutely see progress, growth, and change in the relationship. But it also is Holy Spirit working in me, working in my soul, working in my thoughts and having compassion and the love of God the abundant love of God. So I just encourage you, if you're struggling in any family relationships right now, it could be your marriage, it could be something with your parents. Maybe your parents have hurt you, wounded you, abused you, done horrible things. Holy Spirit wants to help you on the inside and heal that stuff on the inside. We would love to pray for you that you would have that healing on the inside um, so that it can be different on the outside. Hop on the phone, get on the website. We want to pray for you. And when you do, grab your copy of Your Friendship with Holy Spirit. Because I believe with all my heart, the Holy Spirit walks with us every single day, is present and attentive and, and wants the invitation to participate. I like what Paul says in Romans 8. The Holy Spirit walks with us, that we walk, peripateo, we walk with Holy Spirit. It's this walking together. It's the idea that, we, as I take a walk outside, as I'm walking to my car, as I'm walking through the grocery store, as I'm walking in work, as I, maybe you're walking on a college campus, the Holy Spirit is present with us. So we want to pray for you that you would be aware of Holy Spirit with you. Holy Spirit alongside, connecting with you and helping you in your daily walk. Love to pray for you. So hop on the phone, get on the website. And we want to pray that Holy Spirit would increase your awareness and I love this. You know, as we think about Holy Spirit increasing our awareness, there's results to that. There's both gifts and fruit. The gifts of Holy Spirit, we read about those in 1 Corinthians 12. Those are amazing. Healing, uh, faith, miracles, um, prophecy, word of wisdom, word of knowledge, uh, discerning of spirits, all kinds of cool gifts. And we love those things. And that's Holy Spirit working in and through us. But also, Holy Spirit has fruit. Fruit of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, kindness, all this fruit. Fruit is a result of fellowship. And the more fellowship we have with Holy Spirit, I would propose to you that we can have more gifts and more fruit, more evidence of Holy Spirit living in us as well as through us. Hop on the phone, get on the website. We would love to pray for you to have more awareness of Holy Spirit and a deeper relationship connection with Holy Spirit. Grab your copy of your friendship with Holy Spirit, a very helpful interactive guide that will connect you on an individual level on, on who Holy Spirit is and helping you to be fully who God has made you to be. And you are truly 
God's son, you are truly God's daughter. And Holy Spirit bears witness with us in our hearts that we are in God's family. Holy Spirit is a very real part of the Godhead and desires to be in relationship with us. In this interactive guide, Sarah sets you up for deep personal interaction and encounter with Holy Spirit Himself. This guide will help you develop an understanding of Holy Spirit's character and duties, a desire to know Holy Spirit more, and ways to cultivate relationship with Holy Spirit on a daily basis. For your gift of $30 or more, we will send you Sarah's new book, Your Friendship with Holy Spirit. We will also send you Sarah's Holy Spirit Upgrade CD teaching and her In Step with the Spirit book. And for your gift of $60 or more, we will include the NLT Daily Bible. Call or click today for this enriching offer. As we finish our time today, I just ask Holy Spirit to speak to you. And there's a verse I want to leave you with. It's Galatians 6, verse 3. And this is what it says. For if anyone thinks he is something when he is not that thing, he deceives himself. And I want to pray for you that some of you have had erroneous thoughts about yourself. I'm this, I'm not that. And Holy Spirit is here to lead you into truth about who you really are, your true identity. And I want to pray for you on that. I thank you, Holy Spirit, that you're present now in this room, in this time together. And I pray for each person watching those internal things where we have believed we are not this thing. We are something that we're not. I pray, Holy Spirit, that we would follow you into truth. You would be our guide into truth. Help us, Holy Spirit, to let go of deception and distortion, bad, erroneous thoughts, things that are deceived and venomous and poison and help us to feed on your truth and to repel and reject deception in Jesus' name. Amen. I think this is so important because God has made us and when we live in the true identity of who God has made us to be, that full reality, full of light and truth and love and overflowing life, then family connected with God, we come and walk in our daily living with amazing, amazing experiences, amazing presence, demonstration power of God in our daily living. But it all starts with that supernatural connection of who God has made us to be. 